Hey everybody, welcome back. So funny, I was just talking about this product in the comments, and then it came in. I've actually, I opened one of these, and I didn't make a video of it, I opened one of these. Um, for those not familiar, this is wild card football. It's a, oh, what do you call it? Uh, whatever they call Panini, unauthorized, not unauthorized. Uh, I don't know, it's still early, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna muck this up. Anyways, uh, back in the 90s, was it late 80s, early 90s? There was a product called Wild Card Football. And then it, you know, disappeared and it has made a reappearance. And I'm pretty excited about it because I love all things nostalgia. And uh, when I opened this, you know, it's a college product. I know it's not for everyone. I love college football, so I'm fine with it. You do get autographs here, and I was really surprised at how good the cards looked in that one. I don't have any clue what they look like in these others. I don't know why they've done two versions here, uh, like a gold and silver box. Uh, they're pretty much the same, except for, I guess I'll find out when I get in there, though. Uh, I do see this has purple chase pack, and the other one has green chase pack. Other than that, maybe these cards are gold and those are silver. I guess we're about to find out. All right. Let's start with the one that I've already opened since I kind of know what to expect here. Four parallels. I did not get an auto. Yeah, I was really surprised at how good these look. It's the company that's... Uh, oh, there's a blue groove and I didn't get one of those. Let's see who's... It, the company is Wild Card Trading Cards. Okay. Oh, they've got a website. I may go on there and see what they've got. Hmm. Look for these limited edition cards and more in the red chase packs. Find the red chase packs. Average one pack per 20 boxes. All right. I'll take one, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, I ended up buying one of these when I was in Walmart, and they didn't have anything else. And I thought, you know what? I'll give this a chance. And I was really happy I did. Uh, no red pack. How dare. How dare. What? Rude. Wild card. All right. So we have, looks like, four... Really fluffy packs. I don't remember them having this much air in them, but I guess they did. I don't remember them being this hard to get into either. Wow, okay. There we go. All right, we're going to start off so I can get it in the light with Micah Parsons. This is like a foil card. It looks really good. Light show as an insert. This is what the base card looks like. Newman Brown. Looks like there's something going on up there. Maybe a quality control issue there. Robinson, Asai, Zach Wilson. Nice. Sean Wade and JC Horn. Not the best pack there. Starbright that is, I was going to say it's chrome, but it's not. It's just a foil. Wait, maybe it is. Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, there's Trask, Marshall Jr., Tuffle, I guess. Sertan, Patrick Sertan, very good Alabama player. Hill, Chubba, and Jordan. So no really big names yet. Ooh, see a lot going on in this pack. I see colors. Let's, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's like there's a hollow foil parallel and there's three of them. So the, obviously you can see the difference between the base so a Sertan, 
Monte Williams, and a Chubba. Chubba Dubba. That looks really good. So base, and then, oh, nice, a green Justin Fields. Unfortunately, though, it has a, you could probably see there's a little production mark. Yep, there it is. Boo! Uh, St. Brown, this is like a pink. It looks red, but it, if you get it just right, there you go. You can see down here, it looks pink. And then a ocular Mac Jones. Nice. Mm, I don't know what I'll do. I may hold on to this one. I've been working on my Mike Piazza binder, but I created a second binder for Alabama football stuff. I'm not keeping everything. I kind of had planned to just keep dupes. But I don't know. Sometimes I see stuff that I just don't want to let go. Products like this are good for that for a collection like that, too. Obviously, since it's college. All right. Looks like a much boring pack compared to the last one. There's Book, Ernest Jones, Tylen Wallace, Tron, uh, uh, Audrey Larry, uh, uh, Trevor Lawrence, and Owe, 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 Owe. All right, that was it for the um, blaster. Should we do gold or silver? Any, many, money, my kids tired of buying toys. Gold, land, gold, any, many, money, my mom told me to pick the very best one, and you are not it. All right, silver it is. Oh gosh, my kitty's crying. If you hear a kitty crying, I promise it's okay. It's just a crybaby. This cat's like 10 years old. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to admit this. I never really gave her a name. And so her name has always been Kitten. We call her Little Kitten. So, this is a funny setup. Four packs. Just kind of floating around in here. I wondered why this box was so big to begin with. Maybe it's a marketing thing for, like, effect. That we're going to take and make a blaster box giant so people will notice. All right. Calling this matte, and it is compared to this. I can get into these without cutting. Yep. All right. Hmm. It looks pretty good. These dark cards, though, I, you know, you always wonder about how they'll hold up over time. It feels like it has a glossy coating, though, so that'll help. There's Micah Parsons, Tony Rousseau, Colin Hill. Boring a Zach Wilson, and it's going to be tough to see this. There's blue. There we go. And then a Rondell Moore something. It says something in the corner. I can't read. Yeah, I can't read that. Sorry. Bateman, Mills, there's Jalen Waddle, Brown, Elijah Mitchell, uh, Rousseau, another one of the ones I can't name, and my autograph is, I don't recognize this, who is this? Oh, Jamie Newman, that's not too bad. Hmm. So you do, I think I mentioned you do get one auto per box. Let me grab out my little, do my flitchy. All right. I wonder if, you can comment below if you know, is, is the general thought that the gold box is better than the silver or the silver better than the gold? Or I wonder if most people just think they're basically the same. Or if anybody cares, because it's wild card, and lots of people only want 
official products. Uh, let's see, Patterson, Carter, Campbell, Michael Parsons again, making another appearance. Colin Hill showing up again. Tony, Acer Tan, looks like some kind of arms. M M M M W W M W W. Yeah, they don't do a really good job of telling you what you have. But anyways, Greg Newsom looks like a red something or other. M X P. Oh, it says explode up there. I can finally read it. My eyes are still adjusting. I haven't been it very long. So if I sound crazy, that's fine. All right, last pack of the silver box. Naji, Zach Wilson, Pay, oh, Trevor Lawrence, good pack. Save the best for last out of this box. Landon Dickerson, this is this is a good kid. He's a really good kid. He's a good story. He's a good egg. Kyle Pitts, a green, explode, and J.C. Horn. So, mm, I don't love this like I love the illumination, really, if I'm honest. Uh, let's see what the gold... Oh, uh, easy, easy. Told you it was early. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Actually, if you have a, a Mac Jones, I want a purple chase pack. I want a chase pack. I didn't get one out of either of the other two boxes. Let me have one here. chase pack, but in keeping with the theme, the packs are gold. Alright. Here we go. Ah, I see that. Come with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like this better. I, like I do like the gold background better. It just pops more. Michael Parsons, this is my auto. What's going on? Why was that turned backwards? I don't know if that was anything special or that just happened. There's Book. Trevor Lawrence making an appearance. Nice. Bateman. Davis Mills. Nice pack. Nice. Mac Jones. Fire. Rookie Heat, it says. I like it. And Jamie Newman, this like arm coat of arms type deal, dealio. Give me a good auto out of this. Come on. Hmm. All right. Horn, Smith, Pay, Jones. Robinson, Trey Lance, Kyle Pitts, Borum, I think it says, a rookie heat, Zach Wilson, and my auto is Cade Johnson. Don't know much about Cade, but it's a good looking card. Yeah, I like that. Not bad. Not bad looking. I don't know about Cade. The Newman, I think, was definitely the better of the two. All right, last two packs. Man, these are hard to get into. It's funny, they have these super solid, thick packs, but they've got them just floating around in there. Not that Panini doesn't do the same thing with some products. Horn, Smith, Pay yeah, the checklist is small. I'm already getting some dupes. Yeah. Is this yeah, didn't I just get this? Although if I swear hang on. Let's see if I'm crazy. I probably am. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. That the heat was, uh, the fire was orange here and it's purple here. Oh, they talked about, no, that was purple chase pack. I'll have to check. Anyways, this appears to be a parallel. Let's see if there's any. Oh, yeah, you can see the difference on the back, too. Hmm. Okay, nice. ETN is the last card there. All right, Corn, Smith, Pay. Wow, lots of dupes. Must be a really small set, set, so I'm trying to see if it says it on the box. I'm sure it does somewhere, but I'm not going to take up your time. Book again, Pitts again, Zach Wilson, a <laughs> uh, third Zach Wilson rookie heat, again with the purple flame, and Eric Stokes. So, on the whole, I like this stuff. It, I mean, it looks pretty good. I'm... I mean, it's a well-designed card. It's, it's a, not a super thin stock. I like the gold a little bit better than this grayish silver, they're calling it. I definitely like these better overall. It's just a better looking card. The inserts look better. The hollow foils look good. But this stuff's, you know, highly affordable. If you like college products and you're just looking for something to break, I don't see any reason not to open this. I mean... I don't know what it'll do with value, but I would say, just like anything with time, the major players, if Trevor Lawrence goes off and continues to stay healthy and continues, you know, the, the path we think he's going to go on, then in 15 years, his wild card cards will be worth a lot of money. So, they may not be worth as much as, you know, some other brand, but they'll still be worth something. So... Wild well, card gets a thumb up for me. I like it. I'll probably open some more over the years if they continue doing it. Hopefully, they've had enough success to continue on. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. You think it's poop? You like it well enough? Did you open any? Do you plan to? All good questions. Take care, everybody. I love you guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.